Hey guys, wanted to show you a junk journal which has historical significance. It's got the crocodile pages that I created for my mom of all of her memories and almost like a treasure chest to look through. So I'm going to put this down and untie this ribbon that I made, repurposed out of clothing no longer used. It has that beautiful fraying on the end. So she can tie it up or just leave it on a stand like so. All right, so when you open it, She's gonna get like a postcard from me, did lots of inserts, and then a letter that I printed out explaining junk journals, okay? And the historical significance where people would use, you know, old things, found things. Did a photo of my mom and me in the opening. All right, now what I'm going to do is show you guys the rest of the pages real quick. This is a short one, I might do a longer one, but I just created right in the book, pockets, different fillers, uh, things from people who may be gone, like her dad who made lists for me that I would go, where I would go and get him supplies. And he also has like things that he was doing for the garage. This kind of goes back to how things were even, you know, before the internet and how people documented things and kept things. But lots of inserts, like old photos, of, of people in here and even her, you know, her grandchildren, other family members, uh, friends that may, ha may have gone to the higher realms. Uh, she makes birthday cards, so I did some pullouts with calendar pages. And then what she can do is pull them out right, right in the empty spaces about creating those cards that she's done for family. Very cool cards, actually um, like collage oriented like this. One of her friends that is in a better place now, gone on to do more things. Just different pockets like this. And then I would fray paper, decorative paper, and put on the openings of pockets that I made right into the book pages. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. And then, so pull outs, pull outs, pictures, thoughts, ideas, people, places, you know the drill. So, even coloring, some, you know, talking about special colors, pull out cards for those, her special color, my special color, more pockets and photos, even pull outs like this, where she can open it and she can write more about her favorite color, which is purple. All right, so you guys get the idea. She can make notes, did pull outs like this, where it has, you can unclip it, has several flaps, with photos and memories. I'll do a longer um, video on this. Um, my brother being in Special Olympics, family photos, different pullouts like this, where you get a pocket and you can open this for a tuck and it has pictures, uh, writings on it. She can make more notes and pullouts like this where it's a little book that you put your scraps together just like they did in historical times they would use ticket steps whatever they had on hand i inked a lot of mine after i creatively tore them and uh, you know different photos like i think that was from my uh, graduate degree all right so then we have more pockets and then you know, places that she can just pull out cards and write things. And I might do more cards for her for her birthday, which is in June. Old, old photograph that was taped together. I would copy even the back and then tape it too. And you can see how I just sponged. I used old, well not old, but inexpensive makeup sponges that you can get for like $2 at Walmart in a pack to put the inking on to create that antique look and then used my scraps to help make the pockets decorative. All right, even some friends of hers, other things about, you know, family, family moments. And then at the very back we have, uh, she actually uh, shook the hand of JFK when he came to Albuquerque. So I've always been uh, trying to get all of that history out there all the connections. So there you go. You guys take care.